Howdy gang, come on in and take a load off, as today I'll be unboxing and taking a first look at Imhotep The Duel from Cosmos Games. So pull a chair up and let's get down to it. Howdy, 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 gang. Yes, I'm Jeff McAleer, back once again as your host. Normally, I do my unboxings and reviews on The Daily Dope, which airs live Mondays through Fridays at 7 p.m. Central, right here on YouTube. But I do have some smaller footprint games that I received both before Gen Con and during Gen Con. So what I'd like to do is devote a little bit of time in some standalone videos to unboxing and taking a look at these. Now, today I am taking a look at Imhotep The Duel, which is from Cosmos Games. It's designed by Phil Walker Harding with artwork provided by Miguel Coimbra, Michaela Keenley, I'm taking a stab, and Klaus Stefan. The game is for two players, ages 10 and up, plays in around 30 minutes, and is available right now carrying an MSRP of $19.95. So let's move on over to the other camera because I have Imhotep the Duel right here. So effectively, from my understanding, Imhotep the Duel is a two-player version of the hit Euro game Imhotep. So let's, uh, let's get the shrink wrap off and let's take a look at the back here. So it says, the competition of Master Builder continues. In Imhotep the Duel, you play the roles of Nefertiti and Akhenaten, one of the most popular royal couples of ancient Egypt. Place your meeples tactically to unload the most valuable tokens from the six boats. Little by little, you build your four monuments in order to gain as many points as possible and win the duel. Once again, as I mentioned, based on the hit game Imhotep, a 2016 Spiel de Jahres nominee. So let's open this up and take a peek. So we've got the rule book to start off with right here. So let's take a quick look through the rules. Very short. So it's a game objective. Uh, when it is your turn, you can choose one of the following three actions. Place one meeple, unload one boat, play one action token. Unloading the boats causes you to receive monument tokens corresponding to the placement of your meeples. In the end, the monuments score points and the player with the most points wins. So showing the game materials, talking about game preparation, showing the setup, talking about the course of play. So here we go, placing a meeple, unloading a boat, or playing one action token. There you go. Talking about the end of the game. Uh, players take turns alternately until the second to last boat is removed from the game. Thus, only one boat remains in the game. So then it looks like we've got a variant as well. So altogether, we've got eight pages, really seven pages of rules. But we've got some illustrations as well. So it doesn't look like it's very difficult to wrap your head around. So there are the rules there. So let's take a peek what we've got here. Looks like we've got some punch boards. Pop these on out. Oh, we got a few punch boards here. Got some, uh, I believe we got some, oh, look at this uh, insert. That's cool. Nicely done with the insert. And we've got our meeples down here. So let's take a look at some of these punch boards. So first off we have the different ships. So we've got uh, five of them on this punch board. There's going to be another one on the other punch board here. And it looks as if these are the different resources that you're gaining from the boats themselves. Because I believe these tiles will be laid out on the boats or ships, whichever you want to consider them. Uh, face down, so you don't know what they will be. So we've got 
this punch board here. Got another punch board as well. Here's that other ship that I was talking about. Uh, looks like these might be for each player. This might be a little scoring board here for the players. And once again, these will go face down like so. So we've got those. Then we've got what appears to be another board that the players are probably utilizing. They're going to punch out. So showing pyramids. So there's an A and B. And uh, I believe the B represents the variant rules. Because didn't it say B side? Yep, variant B sides right there. So, so here we've got the standard game, both pyramids are scored, and then on the B side it says only the smaller pyramid is scored. So we've got those. Then we've got a couple of these are together here, so let's see what we've got. There we go. Uh, so we've got the tomb. I believe that's another of our monuments here. So we've got the tomb, we've got the obelisk. Once again, we've got the B sides to both the tombs and the obelisks. And these are other resources that are gonna be on those ships. I've got another board here, which uh, I'm not positive what this will do. This might be uh, where you're placing your your monuments, both players are placing the monuments. And then we have, these are actions. So no doubt these are the action tokens that we saw in the rules. And it looks like these are more resources. Sure enough, more resources that are gonna go on the ship. So all of these smaller square counters are all resources. So there's gonna be a mix of what's on these ships all right so we've got all the different punch boards we've got the player boards as well we've got the meeples we'll just take a quick look at these pretty standard we've got black and white just a little uh, little human size or human design i shouldn't say human size but human design all right, I, think I, I better pick these back up so I can fit these in here. And we've got a little baggie there as well. We got the rules, and that is what we find when we take everything from Imhotep the Duel outside the box. Of course, I will have a review of Imhotep the Duel in the very near future. That will be featured on the Daily Dope which of course, as I mentioned before, airs live on YouTube at 7 p.m. Central Time, Mondays through Fridays. So that's it for this time out. As I mentioned, don't forget to catch me live on The Daily Dope. And as I like to say, when you're not watching videos on The Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com for all the latest in gaming news, reviews, comics, movies, TV. I know you know the drill. Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. Once again, I'm Jeff MacLear. I'll see you next time. And until then, happy trails.